Uh, not sure if you could get the gist of it, but it's pretty steep. Um, the kids walk down at least twice to three times a day and walk back up. Um, in the morning we have to get water. Um, in the afternoon is bath and laundry time. And in the afternoon also we generally have to get water as well for kitchen and for uh, work day and for cooking and for cleaning and for all the things that we do in a general day. Um, slightly rigorous um, but it's become a routine so it's not as bad as it used to be I don't think. Um, nonetheless people still fall, people still complain and people still do it. So uh, yeah just wanted to give a little glimpse of what we're doing. When you try your best but you don't succeed When you get what you want but not what you need When you feel so tired but you can't sleep Stuck in rivers And the tears come straight When you love someone but it goes to waste Could it be worse? Lights will guide you home And ignite you What was the best part of your summer? I'm not gonna say anything. No? I am sad because no. you guys are leaving. Ah, oh, uh, exactly. surely you have. <laughs> 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 sure. What? People? I'm bringing these guys. Yeah, indeed. <laughs> That we come back? Yeah. Ah, well, God willing, we will, right? Yep. So, for sure. Lance, what was the best part of your summer? Oh, just meeting everybody, being able to work with new people and making new contacts in different places awesome. in the US. And, and Liz, can you tell us a little bit uh, just about your vision for the orphanage? Oh, yeah, we'd like to have uh, at least, well, we wanted to start out with six, between six and ten kids. Yeah. And start with uh, younger kids, not babies. Okay. Get started, and then we, we want to have a big building to be able to have kids there that if parents or if Americans want to come adopt, they, they could come adopt, or you could just find families here for them, or and have them go to school and be able okay. to get educated. Cool. And uh, what about the field? What's the field going to be used for? It's, uh, we're hoping to use it as a conference center so we can do uh, basketball camps and other versions of outreach. We can do preaching there. And, Awesome. Cool. Cool. People say. Cool. And Lance, how long have you been here in Haiti? Uh, five years, since 2004, but I mean, I go back to fundraise, but yeah. nice, Hey, so, uh, how's it going over here? All right. <laughs> yeah, all right. All right. Um, uh, are you guys sad that we're leaving? Yeah. <laughs> or a little relieved or something? Uh, like, oh, kind of a bore, a little <laughs> <laughs> Just because there's so many of us and all that does. But anyway, so yeah, there's <laughs> people. Uh, we're getting up early.
earlier and earlier each day, so today was kind of our day where we figured out that we're going to be waking up at about 5 a.m. But one of the amazing things about being able to wake up at 5 a.m. is that you get to see how beautiful uh, the landscape and the um, sunrise is. So, uh, still a little sleepy. Uh, there's Tommy. <laughs> um, and here we are in Haiti. So, have a little look at how beautiful it is. Tommy and Danny. Sunrise. There's the valley. Over here is our construction site. Um, and over there is our little tent site. Um, so, it's pretty sweet. Um, there are the infamous squatty potties. Um, they're actually quite nice. They have some uh, pavement and tiles in them. And there's the valley down there. Towards there is the... Uh, towards over there is the port of...